hi everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video I will be giving you some tips and I will be sharing my experience which will lead you towards permanent residency in Australia recently one of my subscriber have asked me uh, to make a video about that so I'm doing that so first of all my first recommendation to you guys will be uh, if you're coming to Australia and you're not already in Australia and you're looking towards enrolling yourself in a course which will eventually lead you towards permanent residency do not go for accounting finance or information technology because in past four to five years a lot of students pro from all over the world have came to Australia to study those courses and those courses were previously in high demand but now the the requirement is uh, not much uh, which results in that the point requirement to study those courses is so much high so it's better for you you either come to study nursing or some trade courses such as plumbing mechanic robot mechanics engineering it could be like uh, not electrical engineers so not all type of engineering so a few types of engineering it might change in future so rather than giving you the the exact name of the courses I would recommend you to go to this website and uh, search for the skilled occupation list you need to do all your research okay so before you come to Australia you need to find out that what courses are in high demand in Australia and the point requirement for you to get your permanent residency is much low that way you will eventually be able to get permanent residency another thing I would like uh, to mention is that people who come from subcontinent from India Pakistan Nepal they don't really focus on their English when they come here a lot of students come and do the LE course which is like if you're not able to get IELTS or PTE you come to study English for first six months you pay like two thousand dollars for those six months and once you finish that then your degree starts this is a, a this is a very foolish idea do not do that I would recommend you to study hard while you're in your home country study hard prepare yourself improve your English and then come to Australia because eventually that is going to be very beneficial for you and how it is going to be very beneficial for you I will explain it to you now so when a student comes to Australia they have to pay more than one hundred thousand dollars over three years of period while they're studying and doing their degree and they have to submit a lot of assignments they have to attend their university like two to three days a week they have to do the exams and after all that mon money paid and investment of time you get 15 points for your degree in Australia you also get five points for studying in Australia so that gives you 20 points right but if you're able to secure eight each score eight each I mean eight in speaking eight in listening eight in reading eight in writing in IELTS or 79 plus score in PTE that gives you 20 points straight away and I would also like to mention that this test of IELTS or PTE either way they cost you around three hundred and fifty dollars so you're one hand you're paying over one hundred thousand dollars to get 20 points on the other hand you're paying around 350 to 400 dollars to get the same amount of points and so this is very important you guys have to improve your English and do the test a lot of people ask me that whether to do IELTS or PTE well it's personal preference a lot of people think that they are very good in IELTS they have done it before they do it but my story was different when I came to Australia I did IELTS and I barely got seven each score in all four components but I was uh, able to get over 5.5 that was my requirement so I didn't have to do the alley course but after coming to Australia I lived here for around four years before I did my PTE for the first time it was a new endeavor for me so rather than doing something what I have done before that was IELTS I tried something new and that was PTE in my first attempt uh, PTE like I went there with a mindset not to get the the score that I require uh, but instead I just wanted to see that where I am currently standing at so in my first uh, results you can see I was not able to get 
even seven each. So that results actually told me that what score currently I am standing at, where I need the, uh, the improvement. I realized that there are so many mistakes I was making in speaking and reading and writing of English language even though I lived here for over four years and none of the native speaker told me that I'm making those mistakes. I used to study for PT for like 12 hours a day for around one and a half to two months and I learned that how the PTE actually works and I was able to get the secure I was required maybe more than that so as you can see on screen I was able to secure nine each in all four components that gave me an additional 20 uh, points so when I applied for my permanent residency the requirement was 70 points for a cybersecurity specialist but I had 75 points so I had five extra points and I was able to get my invite in 11 days that was very lucky but I tried real 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 hard for it so if you're struggling with PTE test uh, you have to work out that how actually this software is working because PTE is not actually a test of your English language but rather it is a software that is analyzing your time management uh, your vocabulary your grammar so you have to improve improve those things and also keep that in mind that if you're attempting a speaking section that is not only giving you score for speaking but it is also contributing contributing to your reading and writing and speaking and uh, not listening but if you're doing listening that is also contributing to your writing and reading so the whole test is merged together so you have to pay attention that what component you are making mistakes in and you have to improve yourself in those particular components and the final and the most important uh, tip I would like to give you is that a lot of students try to save few thousand dollars by trying to apply their permanent, re permanent residency on their own or they either go to a consultant which is really cheap and doesn't know much about the current law and regulation situation in Australia they don't really understand the immigration purpose so they just go and do it all by themselves or they just uh, hire a very cheap consultant I would say that you have to do your research and hire yourself a good agent or an immigration consultant you need the ideas or the tips on the right time so if you have a good consultant or agent that will also increase your chances to lead you towards permanent residency. I will give you a few links under this video about the good immigration lawyer, the one which I used, as well as some tips for uh, PTE. Because my channel is not really about uh, teaching PTE, I can give you those tips and ideas personally rather than putting a video here. Uh, so just feel free to send me a message or leave your question in the comment box below and I will be happy to answer it. I hope uh, that this video will help you and motivate you uh, to get your permanent residency in Australia and I wish you all best of luck in your journey and that's all. Thank you.